Yeah, my grandmother. So I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to see it live, but my grandmother called me right away, and she, um, you know, she was tearing up, and we were on FaceTime, and I didn't know what was going on, and she kind of shared to me what happened. So just to see something like that, like I said, so traumatic is crazy. You know, it, it really puts it in perspective that. You know, it, it, we have fun playing this game, but it's also a very dangerous game. What about the mindset required, you know, because obviously you, you have to be aggressive, you have to be kind of cut loose, right? Like, right. like when, when you think about things like that, does that, does that sort of contrast with the necessity of being so aggressive, if that makes sense? Uh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, but, it, I mean, you still have a job to do. You know, you don't want to take away from anything, you know. you, If anything makes you play a little bit more cautious, um, it was a freak accident from what I heard, and, you know, you, you can't – some things are, you know, inevitable. You can't avoid it. So that's, I don't think that's going to take anybody away from, you know, playing physical or playing aggressive, but just playing a little bit more cautious. What about just the NFL origin safety for players? What, what, what do you feel about that? And if there was something that you could change or add, what if something come to mind there? I mean, I come here every day. I feel safe playing this sport. I, like I said, I've been playing this game since I was five years old. So if I ever felt differently or my parents felt differently, they probably would have took me out of it. So I feel comfortable playing this game. It's not going to, you know, change my opinion on it. I just – guys, just be a little bit more careful, you know, um, like I said, some things are, you know, inevitable and, you know, certain injuries are going to happen regardless. So, like I said, I mean, I feel safe. Uh, you know, if it was if it was a, you know, a really big problem, they would, you know, they would stop the game of football. And I don't think that's going to happen. So, to continue to play, keep being cautious, like I said, and guys just need to, <clears throat> you know, I, my takeaway from it is, you know, um, nobody should take the blame for it. You know, it wasn't anybody's fault. It wasn't an intentional hit. A dirty hit, so I, you know, I, I feel safe playing this game. Uh, I mean, they're a team that you know they've they've got a spark right now. Uh, their running back is really good. You know, the guys are is clicking. Their uh, their skill players are playing well. You know, not only just their quarterback. So, I, I mean, it, it, it's a team. You know, and this game is a game of momentum. So they obviously have that right now. And you know, I respect to them. You know, they're a good team, and it's going to be a challenge for us on Saturday. Yeah, and I, I mean, you know, we take pride in that. Um, it, there's no better feeling than when your back is against the wall and no one's going to give you a chance to win and you go out there and prove them wrong. Um, we're going to come to work every day, work hard, and do the same just like them. You know, um, it's a division game. You know, it's a you know playoff clinching game. And they also beat us earlier in the season. So I feel like everybody has a bad taste in their mouth. They want to go get this W. Guys know what's at stake, like I said, and it's a big game against a big point that we just played a couple weeks ago. Um, and we had a bad taste in our mouth from the last game. Um, we left a lot out there, so now we, you know, we're ready to go. When you look at their offense overall, obviously it starts with the quarterback, but how much overall have they improved while they've been on this winning streak? They've been everyone, I mean, everywhere has been improved, uh, offensive line, receivers. Um, but, I mean, they've just been a great job of just executing, getting down to their, their basics. Um, and they're just com com completing passes. Trevor Lawrence is getting the ball out of his hands quick, which is allowing not allowing the pass rush to get there. So they're doing a good job. Nikki kind of alluded to it, but is this kind of a challenge that you guys are looking forward to? You know, backs against the wall, you know, a lot of key guys out, and yeah. a lot of yeah. people are picking you to win, etc. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like how we've, we've always had it here. So I mean, nothing different. Um, same mentality. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna we're gonna play hard. We're gonna be full tilt to the tackle. Um, no matter who's out there, you're gonna get the best effort. Mm -hmm. um, he's making plays. Um, he's turning, you know, four or five yard catches, bubble screens to 20 yard, 30 yard plays. So we got to make sure that, you know, we come up and tackle and then limit that space. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of ability there, but are you seeing like a lot of schemes setting up to, to get those quick catch and run touchdowns? Yeah, they're doing a good job of not just lining up in, you know, the same formation every time we run the same plays. You know, there's a lot of disguise in dis different movements, different positions. So they're doing a good job of mixing it up. The greatest feeling ever. It's, and wait, why? Because it's just these type of moments are like the moments that like you you don't envision like you playing football and just beating someone 100 to zero. You envision yourself in a big time game making big time plays and big time moments. So for me, I'm very excited and I can't wait for the opportunity. Where does that come from? That confidence, that kind of the, not too, being too nervous or getting too far ahead. Uh, I think it's because like at the end of the day, I, I mean, I just love the game. So it's like the game is the game. Everything else is just everything else. So at the end of the day, football is just football. What is 
um, has Josh done anything specifically to kind of win over guys or, or just kind of uh, bring up the energy this week? What have you seen uh, him done? He's just a very positive dude. Like, everything that he does, like, you know, he's not like a super raw raw guy. He's just very positive. And, you know, that's the type, type of stuff I like because I'm like, I don't need someone trying to motivate me. I'm already motivated. So just someone, you know, staying positive, that's, that's his type of thing. That's his MO. Yeah, I mean, just him being able to go out and, you know, run the huddle like he's supposed to. And um, it all starts in practice, and he does a great job in practice. This kind of game this weekend, this the rookie NFL sort of dream, I guess, prime time playing for the playoffs is what you uh, dreamt about as a kid? Oh, uh, 100%. You know, just go out and, like I always say, just go out and have fun and just give everything else to go. Does that get you pumped up? Yeah, 100%. How much catch luck you have on the sideline and pulling that in, how much does that maybe help boost your confidence particularly? I would just say it's just me taking advantage of my opportunities.